What's up, freaks? Welcome back to Randy and Kai's excellent commentary. Um, what are we doing today, Kai? This time we're gonna take a look at our post-rock series delayed cinema with the great band Sleep Makes Waves from Australia. We tried to create a really new look to visualize the music. And so, yeah, we'll dive in and see, tell you a little bit more about how we came up with the style and what the day was like filming. So, yeah, see you there. Let's do it. Yeah, I mean, done. done. Uh, and this, this series was brought to you by Visions Magazine in Germany. They very much supported it and spread the word and wrote some nice articles to go along with the episodes. And we've only done three of these so far. It was a bit of a limited series. But there will be something in the future. This is a music style we both love, post-rock. And we also should mention Lele, who sponsored the series right away when he came up with the idea. Lele makes switchers, uh, switcher pedals for guitar rigs and, yeah, I guess other rigs as well. Yeah, and guitar pedals, the post-rock band who plays without guitar pedals has yet to come. Is, is not a post-rock Is not a post-rock You have to have like 30 minimum pedals yeah. on stage. Pe pedal porn, otherwise no chance. And really euphoric as well. And in a way so for this series, we tried something something different. Uh, the basic idea, which also uh, is in the title, delayed cinema, which refers to the cinematic elements of the music, but also of the use of a lot of reverb and delay effects in the music. Um, to capture this atmosphere, uh, we wanted to go extreme. So, um, not only with the color correction, so also with the time itself. So, not only we have slow motion shots, we also did something with photograph. Here, we also did something extreme. We did not you. We we didn't lie to him, yeah. kid. If you're seeing yeah. this, I'm sorry. <laughs> you look you look you look great. Jumping around, you want to see them fucking stuff up when they're playing. That's part of the live show. Like that's why. So back to the style. Uh, here we see uh, some slow motion footage. Uh, I think this is the Sony uh, A7S. Um, and then in between, we have this, what we call the blurry bursts, where we just uh, use photographs uh, and make burst photos and put them in between. And then play them back as a video so it looks kind of jumpy and... And, and I think the slow motion versus, versus the photo burst was kind of a way to, to make a, a visual representation of what post-rock often is, where it goes from, a very, it's a very big dynamic range from heavy and fast and intense to also very quiet and uh, peaceful. So. Absolutely silent. Yeah, awesome drummer. Awesome, awesome live band. These so guys really this, killed this it. Was, this was really great. And they also, they also talked about very well how it is to feel what, what to feel when you're at the post or concert, which is very, very special. That one term, such a like big ranging term. It covers so many sort of styles now. And it's kind of a label that gets given to people, especially when they're instrumental and they're playing rock music. It's like, oh, it's post-rock. Kit with the no, no fill lighting. But this time, this time it wasn't that bad. It, footage still a bit grainy, so all our style evolved. I think this is because of the 720 crop of the A7S. So, um, what is that cam? This is this cam. I think it's the Sony C100. Yeah, and we're still trying to find our way uh, in these early episodes with the slow motion. Yeah, the graininess is obviously present, but it's okay. But it's okay. We're still we were yeah. figuring it out. This was an audience member who had no idea that I was standing behind her. Yeah, big shout out to all the audience members who we were filming without asking for their permission. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. A lot of you have, have commented on YouTube that, hey, I was there. Hey, that's me at one minute 140. 
We're happy that you're there too. So yeah, we did three episodes, starting with Sleep Makes Waves. This was the first shoot. So we were still trying to figure it out. To get into, which isn't really the case at all. It's probably not a fair generalization for a lot of those bands. Here we are again with some of the blurry bursts. Yeah, this really captures the energy. Great shot, I like it. And usually we would split up Kai and I. On this one it was just the two of us. So usually either Kai or I would do the slow motion and the other person would do the blurry bursts. And yeah, we would switch during the set from one side of the stage to the other. just like me that are performing the music. Yet the music they're creating is kind of grand, almost transcendent thing that gestures at all these sort of awesome, epic feelings. Yeah, and since the wide angle slow motion shots are very easy to operate, I gave this to the director and I myself. That's, a, that's, always, that's always a wise choice, kids. Yeah. Give the director the, the simple camera. Yeah, make it director proof to your setup. Of that, it's pretty much the best. Thing I think ever. the best use of slow motion in live setups are symbols mm -hmm. or strings. I mean, or strings. His even, bass strings yeah. are quite, quite and epic and majestic on this uh, shoot. Happens, Don't see the little guitar strings so much, uh, yeah. but like, wow, the bass great. string. You got to try and stay humble, and you'll have a better time if you're kind of not expecting yeah. too much, <laughs> so that when the good things do happen, it feels really great. Out of the darkness comes Kit. Cool. Yeah, also thanks to Marco and Avocado Booking yeah, for making Marco this shot possible. Up. There's Protest the Hero and other bands. So yeah, cool, that was delayed cinema. Hope you like it. Thanks to Layla, thanks to Visions. See you next time, freaks.